Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of those Quick War Fortress tutorials. In this video we are going to be talking about garbage disposal, and in this case, atom smashing. We're going to be removing some items and turning them into atoms. Now, the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to be using a drawbridge, and we're also going to be using a lever. So, we're going to need two things. We're going to need stuff to make into a drawbridge, and we're going to need uh, me mechanisms for a lever. Now, if we scroll down into the fortress, and we look around a little bit, we're going to locate our mechanic shop, which I know is somewhere in this fortress. Somewhere. Uh, looking somewhere. Uh, I've actually, now that I'm looking around, it looks like we don't have one. So, simply, we are going to construct ourselves a uh, mechanics workshop. Now, the way this is going to work is we are going to uh, be using a mechanism to connect a lever to a drawbridge and use that to crush uh, the corpses of whatever the heck we need to crush uh, or whatever the thing we need to crush. So we're going to start off by making up uh, some mechanisms and once this workshop is done and we are going to get that done real quick, we can then click here and click make rock mechanisms. I'm just going to make ten, uh, just one by the default and then two and then three, which is all that we're going to need for this here project. Once these mechanisms are done, I will continue the video. And now that all three of them are getting finished and two of them are done, we're going to fly up to this upper layer. Now it doesn't really matter where you build these, I'm just going to be building this on the upper layer just for the sake of ease, and right next to it we're going to put a little nook in this wall, and this little nook is going to be used for a lever. We are then going to be going to the build screen, so we're going to hit B on the keyboard, and then from there we are going to click on constructions. We are from there going to make a drawbridge. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make it raise. We're going to want the drawbridge to raise in the direction of that little nook there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a little drawbridge like this. And as you can see, it's already set to raise to the left. Uh, word of thumb, if you forget what direction your drawbridges go, just simply look at the little gear connector there. The little gear connector is the direction in which it's raising. And note, if I remove this and set it to be a retracting, the gear disappears entirely. So, because it's going to raise, we're going to build it like this. And we're going to construct it out of these dolomite blocks just because they're close by. We don't need that many. And then we're also going to place a door right here, just for safety's sake. The last thing that we are going to do is we are going to place a lever. Now, the lever is going to go right here in this little nook. Now, what we're going to hopefully get done here is we are going to be connecting this drawbridge right here to this lever. And this is going to be our on-off switch for our garbage disposal. And from there, the dwarves are going to connect these two things together using dwarven mind powers, because dwarves don't connect things with cables, they connect things with mechanisms, which just kind of connect if from inter-cyberspace. It doesn't really matter. Don't worry about it too much. Long story short, uh, a lever can be connected to something on literally the farthest reaches of the map. So now that everything is hooked up, what we are going to do is we are going to give this lever a pull. And then this lever is going to lift up this drawbridge, which should happen shortly after the lever is pulled in. Five, four, there you go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a zone, right? And we're going to throw down a little garbage dump zone. Now this garbage dump zone's purpose is anything that is marked to be dumped in this menu right here under P, underneath the I hotkey, so press I to pop up these tiny little items down here. Anything that is marked to be dumped is going to go into here. So what we're going to do up here is we're going to make a real quick refuse stockpile. Now, refuse is <laughs> essentially any rotten items or any dead items or things that you don't really want on your map. We're also going to be throwing corpses in here. So we're going to have corpses and refuse. Now, I'm sure that something on the map is refuse, but just to make sure that we get everything that we need in there, I'm just going to real quick open up the uh, work orders screen. From here, we're going to go to labor, we're going to go to standing orders, and we're going to go to refuse and dumping. Now, dwarves ignore outdoor refuse, we want to check that, and dwarves gather vermin remains, we want to check that. Now, anything that is considered refuse, rotten, broken, dead, dying, should be put into this stockpile. So, I'm going to pause the game for a moment and just make sure that some things get chucked in here, and then once up, oh, perfect, as you can see, we are filling up almost immediately with muscle shells and cockatiel remains. Perfect. That's excellent for our description here. Now that as now that stuff is getting chucked in here, we are going to select garbage and we're going to select everything to be dumped. And then these items are going to be brought from over here and thrown into this garbage dump. Now we just need to wait for the dwarves to finish bringing everything up. Looks like we got hamster remains, we got dead we got dead rodents, we got uh, more shells, more shells, more shells. Of course, the dead birds. Uh, the cats have done a number on the local wildlife, I gotta say. And then the dwarves are gonna start bringing it over here, and then the items gonna automatically be forbidden. So once all of these items that are marked to be thrown away are brought over to this drawbridge, uh, I will continue the video. Well, there seems to be an endless wall of muscle shells being chucked up here, so simply what we're going to do now is we are going to click on this lever, and we're going to give it a pull. We're also going to real quick lock this door, just for safety's sake, so that dwarves don't get stuck. They're going to pull the lever, and then we're going to select it to be pulled a second time. Another dwarf should come booking it up here to pull the lever a second time, and whoop, voila! 
all the items are gone. This is a very good way of disposing of trash or just simply items you don't want or maybe children that annoy you. If you really, really want to get rid of stuff quickly, though, this is probably the fastest method, aside from selling it or throwing it into a volcano. If you need other ideas on how to get rid of things, uh, something else you can do is maybe go up to an upper level and set a dumping zone just across the edge of a cliff above either a large hole or into a volcano or into the lava magma sea down in the bottom or just into a pit where you don't need to look at it, that will also cause them to throw them off the edge. They will walk into one side and throw it into the second tile. Uh, in this instance, this is just the fastest way and the safest way and also completely self-contained and indoors so you don't need to worry about your dwarves making in, in infinite snack stacks of shells in places where you don't want them. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like it, there's a ton of them on this YouTube channel. If you want to see me stream live you can find me at twitch.tv slash blindirl over on twitch and if you want to support me directly you can do that via patreon or of course through twitch primes or the, the super thanks things down in the description of this video thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one